Hello everybody, welcome back to the Homebrew Boys. We're back and we're playing some Sherlock Holmes in Minecraft. So we just solved our first case of the robber with yellow shoes. Um, I like to think we have a memento that's just a set of yellow shoes now. We're going to go home and finish off this story and start another and solve another case. Our first episode is going to be... The oh my god, the pigeon! Uh, pigeon! Hello! Can I attack you? Yeah! Get out of here! Get out of here, this is my town. Uh, right, we need to get back home. Um, I think we need to follow the compass. Where's our ride? Okay, I think I abandoned my carriage over here. Let's get back to 221B Baker Street. Or oh, Homebrew Street, as I'm gonna call it. We're home, Watson, I think. Nope, we're at the wrong house. Watson, God damn it! how stupid can you be, Watson? Where are we going? <laughs> I've lost my house, everybody. I've lost my house. There we are. <laughs> How did I miss that? Okay, it does kind of blend in a little bit. The carriage is just parked around the corner. We couldn't find any parking spaces around here. Case number two, Watson. I wonder what we're going to solve today. Uh, we solved the the case of the missing shoes. Time for the um, rocky pile of crap, maybe? I don't see how the bucket had anything to do with... I know it's like a bucket of yellow paint, but they could have had like yellow shoes. Oh, we need to get ourselves another cup of tea. We haven't had a cup of tea in ages. Um, let me just hydrate myself with a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> One chicken crossed the road. Two chickens crossed the road. Three chickens crossed the road. Four chick. Oh, hi, Sherlock. Seems I must have called you by accident. Anyway, I need you at the police station right away. It's urgent. What? Looks like Watson and I must postpone our game of chess. We'll be there in a moment. What the hell was that? I was a bit suspicious. That was a bit odd. I, I found it a bit weird that that kind of went on. Go to the police station. Oh, we haven't been to the police station. Yet. Uh, where did we park the um, carriage? Is it around here? No, it was around here. We need to get to the police station. Can we just steal this carriage? I know we're detectives and everything, but can we just... Yep, we can just steal the carriage. <laughs> Right, where's the police station? Are they? Oh, they're the pigeons from earlier. Let's not try and run over a pigeon. Uh, police station? Police station. Is that the police station? Or is, that looks like the bank. This looks like the market, not the police station. I guess you can have a market outside a police station. There's nothing stopping it. Ah, Lestrade, hello. Hello there, Sherlock. Please, follow me. We need to have this discussion in a much more private environment. Oh, okay. Okay, I think Lestrade's being hypnotized. Oh, he did a little pirouette. Um, are you all right, Lestrade? Are you okay? I think Lestrade's drunk, everybody. My cousin... Oh. Please do come in, Sherlock. Have a seat, please. What if... What exactly do you and your magnificent police force need help with this time? That was lightning. Is Scotland Yard out of imagination? As much as I hate to admit it, yes. You're the only one who can help us now, Sherlock. I honestly can't say that I'm surprised, but please, do please go on. Please, do go on. We received this letter a few days ago. I'm writing to tell you that I require funds. Lots of them. A lot of them. Why, you may ask? Well, if I told you, that would be all too simple and no fun at all. Instead, hear my threat. If you don't provide me with 12 stacks of your finest diamonds, you will find that TNT will be set off in London's heart. Follow my instructions carefully and you may avoid this. You must leave all the diamonds I have requested in a barrel at the central square, ready on Thursday at noon. Whomever places the diamonds must leave the square directly afterwards. The Major has instructed that we refuse to negotiate with criminals and under no circumstances should we pay, especially not such an extortionate sum. Now, however, we only have 12 hours left to find who has threatened us, else there could be a tragedy. Time is not on our side at all. We have no clues as to who it could be. The individual did not even sign the letter to us. Why would you sign an ominous letter? I have letter. a good idea of where to get started. You should have asked me in the first place rather than waiting around. Let me collect Watson and we will visit Guy. Okay, so let me just, let me just, let me just, you know, clear, clear this up. I was like fully immersed until it went, okay, uh, you need to, you need to give me 12 stacks of diamonds. Otherwise I'm going to blow the TNT in the town square. So I was so invested and then it was like, and then it just reminded me we were in Minecraft. Okay, right. Let's solve this. Uh, how do I get out the chair? Chair? 
Uh, can I destroy the chair? No. Ah, okay. I think it even did say sneak to get out of the chair. Oh, backed into the board. It's fine. Meet with Watson downstairs. Let's uh, wait. Take a drink of cup of tea. Okay, Watson. Head to, we need to head to Guy's place. That guy Forks? Or... Oh, what's this? Head to Guy's place. What? What? Do, Victorian street lamp single. What? A Victorian street lamp single. Did did a street lamp break or something? I'm gonna pretend like the map isn't breaking around me and just assume that that's a clue for later. Watson, we found a clue. I assume we follow the uh, the lights again, like before. Is this guy's place? Hello, gents. How oh. do you do? I can recommend you the mushroom stew if you know what. Um. I don't know what. Good day, sir. I have gone into the wrong building. <laughs> here we go. Guy's place. Oh, hello. Who do we have here? The great Sherlock Holmes has graced my humble abode with his presence. A shadow upon London's underworld you are, sir. How am I able to serve? Salutations, Salutations guy. guy. I see your attitude towards me is as welcoming as ever. I require your assistance. Do I hear myself correctly? The majestic Sherlock Holmes, solver of mysteries, I'm now, Watson, captor he's of the crooks, of the series. <laughs> and genius of our times, is in need of little old me to help. Little old me. me an help. ordinary lad, a simple seller of fireworks. Oh, I shouldn't mention that. After all, the mayor has just pushed a law which bans fireworks in the city. Ooh. You need not worry. If you assist me in this matter, I will assist you. This I'll guy's already suspicious. To sweeten yes. the deal, no friend of Sherlock Holmes ever needs suffer from unfair treatment. I'm not going to kill him. What CD. exactly do you want? I'm searching for the man. Excuse me, individual, individual that has purchased a very large amount of gunpowder recently. I heard from a source that you had a lot left over what from source? your firework making. You've got the wrong man. I don't sell out my customers. I ain't Then I'm going to rock you. Wait, did I get a gold bar? <laughs> oh my god, I opened it and got gold. Wait, did I just take that from... You do know how to persuade did a I man, Did I just rub a gold Mr. bar out the cash machine and then Have give him a gold bar out of his cash machine? Barkey. The chap who runs a tavern well, next to the bus stop. Apparently that's bribery. In London's criminal underworld, he's known as the Creeper. Of course and that's he is. all I'm saying. Of course he is. Unless I get something more to cope with. Uh, okay. <laughs> he's called the Creeper. We're looking for a man named the Creeper. Not the Scooby-Doo Creeper. The green fella that explodes on, on that Minecraft. He's a shifty He's a fella. shifty fella. I've heard he's carrying out some shady affairs with gunpowder and other chemicals in his Ooh. basement. He also just bought up most of my gunpowder. Thank Look, you kindly, uh, Guy. Watson, get you off may the just tape. Have save a lot Seriously. Of lives. You won't get in trouble for this. Come, Watson. Time is of the essence. We must go before it is too Watson, late. Watson, get off the table, otherwise I'll make you get off the table. Okay, he's just balancing on the table. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Watson. We've bribed the man with his own gold and he doesn't even know about it. <laughs> I think we need to go into the bar now. Hopefully. I think we're in the right place here. I just need to get some bribing money. Let me just get behind your counter and I, I'll... i um... Right, yeah. Just let me get behind your counter just so I can get some money to bribe you with. <laughs> oh my god. The animations on this game are just beautiful. Oh, we're just going to have a drink as well. <laughs> just a man hops behind the bar, then nicks some money out of the cash register and takes a drink, and then he's going to ask some questions. Hello. Hello, Hello gents. gents. How do you do? I can recommend you the mushroom stew. We don't stew, want the mushroom you know stew. The only, f the only kind of food we want around here is justice. Served up on a platter. That's what we're going to give you. And you're going to give us all the ingredients. Now tell us everything you know. I think we're speaking to the wrong person. Where is she? Where are the explosives? Tell me. 
Ooh, there's a basement. Um, don't mind me just going into a mysterious basement. I'm just gonna search. Oh, excuse me, gents. What are you doing down here? This is private. I need to know what is behind that it's door. It's of great urgency. It's of great urgency. What exactly do you mean? It ain't your business knowing what's behind the door. I just told you. Can I see? This area is private, out of bounds. I think not. I must know what lies down there. We are investigating a yeah. case of great importance I'm to on see behalf if I can of see Scotland the Yard. The or corner. would you prefer it if I called the police? How good would that be for your business? I suspect your clients wouldn't look so kindly on police officers turning up and ruining their drink. Fine. Your posh folk think you can your do posh what you folk want. Think. I will show you. Please don't call the police. <laughs> but I do need your word, hand on heart. You can't share the secrets I was protecting it. I definitely won't. We'll see what's down here before agreeing to that. We'll see here. I definitely won't tell on you, especially if there isn't explosives. Wink, wink. We need to find that TNT, Watson. Oh, okay. Cobwebs. Let's have a look. Cobwebs in the basement, eh? Cobwebs in the basement. Is there going to be anything in here or am I going here for no reason? I'm going in here for no reason. Of course I am. Which way out? What? Oh, fuck it. Are you following me? Uh, let me just go past both of you. Let's have a look around. We need to find these explosives. We need to find the creeper. We need to find the creeper. I can't remember that guy's voice now. We need to find the creeper. He wasn't posh. He was a little bit... He was a bit like this, wasn't he? Yeah. With you. If looking for the creeper. Uh, I, Watson? Watson? Uh, come on, Watson. Get out of here. Watson's getting stuck again. Ooh. That doesn't look like TNT, but it looks like... Wait, this looks like bundles of strange plants. Hmm, suspicious. Here we go. Goodness, what is this? Mushrooms. Place? You ain't here trying to uncover my secret recipe for my best-selling mushroom stew. Well, that's famous oh, across famous. England. Word has it, even the Queen's personal chefs have tried to recreate it. Gosh darn it, we've been searching for a TNT deposit, explosives and dangerous chemicals. Not bothersome mushrooms. <laughs> well, um, I'm sorry to disappoint, but there ain't any TNT here. Even if many of my clients admit that my stew blows their mm, minds. I'm still suspicious of you. Guy must have outwitted us. I should not have trusted him. That was my grave mistake. Let's retrace our steps and see what we can find. It was the guy himself. It was it was Guy. It was the guy that we were talking to. He's the one who planted the explosives. And he's the one who's putting us on a wild goose chase. We need to catch him before he ev explodes everything. He's the guy that we need to catch. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm running you out of town. Go to Guy's place and search for the house. I am on it. Uh, we need to get ourselves another carriage. We keep abandoning them places. <laughs> Which way are we going? We, I know we've got a compass, but the lights led us here. It's got to be over here. We've got to retrace our steps. I oh, know that's the Baker Street compass. I'm going the wrong way regardless. <laughs> we're supposed to be good at solving crimes. Can we go through the window? No. Okay. There are. There we go. Entrance. Here. Let's try another entrance. God damn it! It took us forever to find this entrance, let alone finding another. Can we go through, like, the parking lot? Oh, there's the TNT. We found the TNT. Everybody, we got the proof. Watson, d disarm the explosives while we search the house. Oh, and look, he's got a creeper mask. We found our guy. Oh, we found a collectible. Cool. Did I not find another collectible? Did I not find any collectibles in the other one? Oh, I didn't know there was collectibles to collect. I would have, like, tapped everything. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, a cat. It, look, it kind of looks like a little bit like magic. Oh, a bone. Another collectible. Uh, we're getting all the collectibles. Holmes. Guy is the creeper, not Bob. He has hoodwinked us both in an attempt to receive more time to pull off his plans, and he's getting away with it. I need a professional assistant's help on this matter. Thank you, Sherlock. Need I remind you that I am right here? Head back to the police station. I don't know, it sounds like there's... There's a uh, explosion going. Oh, it's this. Wait. Oh my God. It was on. It was under our nose the entire time. He was called Guy, as in Guy Fawkes. Look, fifth of November. He's gonna try and recreate the fifth of November explosion. Guy Fawkes, uh, where they, he was gonna blow up Parliament, but instead he was gonna he's gonna blow up the police station. 
Can we, uh, do we have any more cash to rob? I also want to found, find that last collectible because, you know, I don't want to leave this place. And, oh, I haven't found a collectible, but I have smashed another painting. <laughs> Smash all the paintings. I want to find this other collectible. I don't want to. I don't want to leave this place until everything's been found, unless it's in the police station. We're not going to find it here, are we? It was probably going to be in the pub. Oh, it probably was the mushroom. Never mind. We will get all the collectibles one day. Uh, ooh, there's an upstairs, and it's gated off. Okay, great. Let's go. We've got to stop the explosion. What? Is this a new room? This is a different room. I didn't mean to be in here. How do we get out of this place? Come on, Watson. Tell me how to get out of the building. Wait, no, I'm the detective. Shut up, Watson. I will figure it out. Here we go. Oh, God damn it, Watson. You could have told me where the exit was. <laughs> how do we get out of this place now? Hello? We're back on the street now. I think the fog tells us when we've gone the wrong way. If it's too foggy, then we've gone the wrong way. Yes, I think. I think that's a mechanic, maybe. Nope, no it isn't. It was just foggy regardless. The lights so good to guide our way. Screw you, rap. I will find a weapon to one day take you out. There's literally a map. Uh, we need to get to the PlayStation first. PlayStation? Police station first. Okay, we need to find Lestrade. Lestrade, where are you? Please, let me know. Tell me. We need to disarm and find the explosives. Lestrade? Lestrade? Where'd Lestrade go? Police officer, tell me where Lestrade is. Officer, can you tell me where Lestrade is? Nope. It seems we've got a missing persons case as well as an explosives case. How is it so easy to lose a character? Seriously. Hello? Can you help me find Lestrade? Nope. Is he downstairs? <gasps> it might be in the basement. Nope. Um... Lestrade? No. Oh, this is a back door to the police station. Okay. Um, I should probably lock that. Otherwise, prisoners are going to escape. <laughs> oh, this is the, the yellow shoot person that we arrested earlier. Damn. Uh, we're actually making a difference. These are going to be a cell for each of the people we arrest. Oh my god, there's rats in here. Ugh. It appears we've lost... <laughs> we've lost the person we're looking for. One eternity later. Do we have to find the explosives? No? Oh, literally over here with the dog. It did say the police station. Like, you would assume going inside the police station, not next to it. Jeez! Sherlock Holmes, good at solving mysteries, but not finding people. This bold canine will bark when you find the TNT. I believe he'll serve you well. Well, what are you waiting for? Befriend him so we can get Come on, going. Doggo. Perhaps try a treat. Come on, Doggo. We've got to solve a case. Here you go, Doggo. Follow me. Oh, I'll follow you. No, you're following me. Come on, doggo. We'll solve this. You and me, together. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, there just leaves. Okay. Where are the explosives? Tell me. Head to the building marked on Guy's map. Okay, we've... <laughs> I was literally thought it was in the square. They did say explosives in the square. I'm not you. I'm... My brain is smoothing over. I need more wrinkles on the my brain. Uh, I suppose it's probably this. No, we're at the place. Unless we have to go in the building. Ah, we literally do. We need to be sure to clear the area of all civilians. I will warn people inside the bakery and anyone else nearby. Okay, you do that. Meanwhile, I will search for the TNT and disarm it. Come on, dog. We have a bad guy to I find. I found the last collectible. It was bread. Uh, go outside and find the TNT. Oh, okay. Um, I want to be inside, though. I want to see if there's any more collectibles. <laughs> okay, I'm going outside. Let me just rob your cash register first. Aha! <laughs> the Sherlock Bandit. Okay, come on, doggo. Where's the TNT? Show me the TNT. Wait. Well done, dog. It, it, was, wa it was already in there. I walked along. past it already. Yes, you fool. Of course it was me of all along. Of course it was me. After the mayor imposed the new laws, my business was ruined. It couldn't make a penny. I needed the money, as I had nothing I left. Nothing left. You needed funds for your business, so you decided to explode TNT, destroying other businesses and harming people for revenge. Well, t'was never really my means to hurt people, I swear. The mayor forced me into you this. Don't... This was the only way for me to gain back people. my losses. 
I still can. All I need to do is pull that lever. I will make you pay, Sherlock. Fret not, Sherlock. Oh, I'll get the tea. It's an actual boss fight. We have to fight the guy. Oh, wait, is this our cane? We've got a walking cane. <laughs> We're just beating this man with a walking cane. <laughs> okay. Dun, 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 <laughs> Boss battle time. Discombobulate. <laughs> like the uh, Robert Downey Jr. Um, oh, did he kill me? I think he killed me. I think I failed. I think of me faffing about. I think he killed me. I think he. I think he actually beat me to death. Go outside and doggo. I think I need to feed the dog again. <laughs> doggo, follow me. We need to beat a man with a cane. All I need to do is pull that lever. I will make no, you, you won't, pay. Because Sherlock. I'm going to concentrate this Fret time. Not, Just combobulate. I'll get the tea. Watson, get out the way. I'm beating this man. Yeah. You will not explode those explosives. Detonate those explosives. I'm definitely Sherlock Holmes and not an imposter pretending to wear his clothes and his cane. There we go. Haha. -ha. You will regret this, Sherlock. Mark my words. They have been marked. All my words of thanks cannot live up to what is deserved. Without your wit, London would have had dozens of victims. It would have done, but my wrinkled brain is all you needed to solve the case. And this walking cane to smack that man. Oh. oh my goodness me. Now that was exciting. Let's go home and see what other adventures well, await. Well, we have solved case number two of this awesome Sherlock Holmes map. I'm quite enjoying this at the moment. This is pretty cool. I am very, very much liking this. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe to all the socials and check out this video right here because it's going to be awesome. And it's going to be the previous episode of this. Watch it now.